What it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQ, KC Boxing Network. Throwing down on another video. And yes, it is the heavyweight contender, Tyson Fury, talking the same shit. Trying to get attention. Trying to boost his mind up. Remember, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And this man had wasted his mind. He had wasted his mind with drugs, cocaine. Matter of fact, he's talking about celebrating if he wins Saturday night. He's talking about doing all kind of cocaine and drugs and alcohol. Now, he admit that to the public. And old KQ told you, this man haven't stopped. This man haven't had help. This man don't have any type of mental disabilities. Only thing about it. He got hold to some bad shit. And it fucked up his psyche. You see. That's all. He's crazy as hell. And he would find out. How crazy Deontay Wilder is. This man has shitted. On Deontay Wilder record. This man has shitted on his reputation. And he's not the only one. Don't let me get started. On Floyd Mayweather. Don't let me get started on Andre Ward. Don't let me get started on all the UK people. Now, I got a comment from a UK lover and a Billy Joe Saunders lover who says that Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo, that is a fight of the year. Bullshit. You got two PED users. You got two PED uh, losers. You got PED users and losers that gonna go head to head. Now, only thing about it is the outcome. It depends on what drugs they use that day to get away with it. Remember, Canelo used and got caught, and guess what? Nothing. That's what. Nothing. Now, here you have a champion, the Bronze Bomber. Who has done everything right without any help. And I mean no help from PBC, top rank, or no one else. Then you have someone that they made up a name for. The lineal champion. Which you can't see. You don't have a belt. And you do not qualify. Let's put it in perspective. Let's call it what it is. See, that's the difference in me. And old media. I'm not going to sit there idly by and sit there and let them get away with that. I will call it out every day or in every beginning of a live stream or a video. You know how I do it. I will do it in a minute. Shit. Shit, I'm like Clay Davis, baby. Uh, from The Wire. Shit. Now. Now, that's my commentary on that that's how I feel about that just like Charlo and Tony Harrison debacle another black man slander another black man ain't that right Floyd huh but Floyd years ago when he was in the Olympics or coming up in the ranks in the pros he said how can American uh, uh, fans uh, go against American fighters well, you doing it, Floyd. You doing it. You doing it. With your cherry picking ass, you doing it. And I told you, I have every damn right to say what I want about Floyd Joy Mayweather Jr. Because I was one of his number one fans. And what a damn disappointment it is. Now, I get it. Your father was fucked up. Yes, I get it. But your mother wasn't that messed up. Your grandmother raised your ass. And now you're going to come out and go against your own country? Your own country that gave you the millions and the billions that you so-called spend. Don't give me that shit. And you know what? Don't let me, don't, don't let me get started right now. Because I'm saving your ass for tomorrow. Now, as I move on about this tall gypsy king fuck up. Because that's what he is, a fuck up. 
when you win all the titles and you're the unified champion on the heavyweight division, then you turn around and throw it all away, you're a fuck up. You are a fuck up. Now, let's get to the video at hand. Fury Slam's wildest record. And also, former NFL players. Has been, bums, whatever you want to call it. See, Tyson Fury, uh, he don't see anything oppressive about the uh, uh, the record of uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, who is the number one heavyweight in my book right now. Now, both boxers have undefeated uh, uh, records in the pro ranks. With Wilder having a 42-0-1 record, with 41 of those win by knockouts. Now, are you listening to me, people? Out of 42 fights. Well, basically, you can say 43. 43 fights. And you knock out 41? I don't give a fuck if you fought an Uber driver. That takes moxie. That takes working out. Anybody can get clipped. Anybody can get caught by anybody. If you never fought before, you can get clipped by a motherfucking preacher. If you get hit the right way. You get clipped by a nun from a Catholic church. If you get clipped the right way. You never, you never ever discredit a fighter. You never ever disrespect a fighter that steps in the motherfucking ring. Huh? You don't hear me. Now, Wilder came close to knocking out Fury. Uh, that was back in December uh, uh, 18th. Now, with the British boxer surviving a big knockdown, and that was the 12th and final round, which he should have been out, but we know Jack Reese. The same referee that fucked up the other night. The same referee they should take a look at. And the same referee that would stay his ass at home Saturday. Yes, right. He should have been knocked out. He should have lost. Mike Tyson is wrong. And Floyd Joy Mayweather is definitely wrong, you little motherfucker roach. Now, the rematch take place on Saturday night. This Saturday now at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Wilder has taken over as the batting favorite, even in the UK. After Fury was leading the way for most of the pre-fight promotion. Let's not make any mistakes here. Deontay Wilder has fought 35 stiffs. Now, this is Tyson Fury. Honestly, over here in America, they call his level of opposition tomato cans. If you are fighting and knocking out our real opposition, that will impress me. But I look at his resume, and he has fought a few former football players, a few has bands, and a load of bombs. Fury told UFK Outlet News that. Of course he's going to say that. Listen, if UK, I know you're listening. Fury is your bomb. And Anthony Joshua is your bomb. For a country that got nothing but bombs. Got the Lawndale belt, the Commonwealth belt, all these belts for bombs. Your promoter is a bomb. And yes, Fish Eyes, Frank Warren, and your pathological liar, Eddie Hearn. And your slave owner, allegedly, Barry Hearn. And y'all don't do shit about it. Y'all let this white man shit all over y'all. And y'all let him shit all over a black man at that. So, why? You answer me this question. Why do everyone want to come over here to America? Why? The money. That's one. Two. The opposition. Because, like I said earlier. We didn't create boxing. We perfected that bitch. That's right. We are very athletic. We lead in every sport. That is. If we give a fuck about snooker. We'll lead in that. 
If we give a fuck about darts, we will lead in that. So Tyson Fury is confused. He's confused and scared. So when you're confused and scared, what you do? You'll say anything. I mean, you would do anything. And that's what he's doing. He's trying to play that game. But see, with Deontay Wilder, the people's champ, the one that knocked out 41 motherfuckers out of 43, he is not going to buy that. Because even though he believes in the moons and stars and choir crews or whatever, he believes in himself. And that's the most important thing. He believes in himself and that concludes his skills. That's what I'm talking about. Now Tyson Fury on the other hand. Either he high, drunk or both. When he talk his shit. But we'll see. The last time when you land on that floor. In the twelfth round when your ass should have been counted out. Do you think about has fans? Do you think about um, former football players? Who have you fought? Oh I'm, I'm sorry. Adi Walling. Who bust your shit wide open. Don't you get me fucking started. I'm going to save your ass for tomorrow. Yes this is fight week people. And let me continue on with this bullshit. According to Fury. The first contest was very easy for him. Well it didn't look easy to me. When his ass was on the 12th uh, uh, round on the floor. It didn't look easy to me. When he got knocked down the first time. See. See. It was an easy fight, Fury said. I've been involved in much harder fights in my career. Yes, with Otto Wallen, somebody that you picked or handpicked, that had an undefeated record that nobody never heard of. Who is calling a motherfucking kettle black? Huh? Who is it? There's no comparison. And you, the UK people, you think that's a comparison? Then you're a smaller country than I thought. Now, Wilder's inaccuracies do not shock. He was exactly what I expected. A limited boxer with immense power. It was a one-sided mismatch in boxing skill and everything. Well, how about this, Tyson? Let's see Saturday night. You already saw how your ass got off the canvas, not once, but twice. Let's see how great Deontay Wilder is. Ben Davidson tried to tell your dumb ass that Wilder has gotten better and better and better. But sometime a hard head will make a soft ass. Now Fury was very upset with the first bout was announced as a draw. For what? Your ass got knocked down twice. Now, to avoid the possibility of another controversy decision, Fury is planning to go for the knockout victory. He dropped his head trainer, Ben Davidson, who tried to tell his ass and hired Sugar Hill Stewart to properly train with the sole goal of securing a knockout victory. Go ahead. You do not punch that hard, Tyson Fury. You are not that guy. Tyson Fury yes you might punch a so called bomb NFL ex NFL player you don't punch that hard trust me you coming in heavy you don't have any power it's all a ruse don't get hoodwinked my people my subscribers, my kings and queens. Don't get hoodwinked about this notion, about this news. Because it's all a game to this crackhead. It's all a game to this alcoholic. It's all a game to this freak. It's all a game. All he wants to do is get in the limelight, get that check, and get the hell out of Dodge. Because win or lose, Deontay Wilder, hands down, will still be the best heavyweight in the world. Now, Anthony Joshua, yes, he got a loss on his record. Tyson Fury, he would have had one too if he wasn't so fucked up with the drugs and alcohol and he had to sit his ass out. 
Don't let me get started right now. It's too late for my ass anyway. I need to be in the bed. But I just couldn't let my subscribers idly sit back while this is going on. He scared my brothers and sisters. He scared. And I don't blame him. He's scared of a man, a black man at that. A black man that is six seven with immense power. A black man that has a 41%. 41 people he knocked out out of 43 fights. You can call them whatever you want to call them. But they are human beings and they stepped their ass in that rope. And they did what Anthony Joshua would not do. They faced a knockout puncher. They faced a knockout artist. Now, Anthony Joshua, he holds all the titles. All he needs is one. And he will not get that one. And you, the UK people, you just sitting there idly by, twiddling your thumbs, and think that's old sweet fucking Caroline. Fuck that. You need a new song. You need a new champion. You need a new motherfucking makeover. That's what you need. So you need to call Jenny motherfucking Jones. That's what you need. Because that ho 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 shit is not working. Because every time you sing the fucking song, one of your fellas or so-called uh, uh, champions get their ass whooped. Oh no, we ain't gonna talk about Ricky Hatton getting his ass whooped by Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, nothing like that. No, we ain't gonna talk about Kel Brook getting his ass whooped by Earl Spence. Oh no, we're not gonna talk about all the other fighters of your British persuasion. They get their ass whooped by Americans. Now, you have one UK fighter. His name is Tyson Gypsy King Fury. That don't like your other champion. That holds the belt and the titles. Of course he's going to choose him. Not for the country. Because his ass is scared too. All these bitches are scared of Deontay Wilder. You know me. Y'all know me. I'm not going to hold nothing back. And with that. I am. Oh, oh, oh. I am. KQ, KC Boxing Network. If you like the content of this video, feel free. Feel free right motherfucking now and subscribe. We're 140 away from 2,000 subscribers. We kicking ass. And when I say we, that means me and you, my subscribers. This is our channel. This is what we do. We rock out of the LD. BC, the locals den boxes community. If you didn't know, god damn it, now you do. So with that, hit the icon bell. You will get notified each and every time I do a video. Each and every time I do a live stream. And that's 12:30 p.m. Central Time. Monday through Friday. And yes. I do call fights and you will get notified for that also especially the one February the 22nd the rematch of the WBC heavyweight champion Deon Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Tyson Gypsy King Fury the heavyweight contender yes OG boxing on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. I be working seven motherfucking days a week. Two videos, one live stream a day. Oh, I'm going to give it to you. That's my job. That's my job as a creator. To give you the current state of boxing. To give you the current news of boxing. To give you new news sometimes old motherfucking news sometimes some sly ass shit like Tony Harrison try to pull but at the end of the motherfucking day I am KQ KC Boston Network and I'm going to catch you on the next one assalamu alaikum peace be unto you
I'm out of here.